completely manhandles what that boy was. Spider Valentino sent to the hospital after losing the fight. We knocked this dude into like next week, literally. He's no longer himself. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Mickey's Punch Club in boxing school. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. So I made a little bit of progress here off camera. We are kind of ready to kind of start steamrolling the minor circuit for good, boys. We got a fight with Cannonball tomorrow against two. He's a top 10 contender now, by the way. Against two, Spider. Remember our first fight, Spider beat us? Well, I think now Cannonball has learned from his first defeat. And he's become a better, stronger, faster killing machine. And our boy Earthquake isn't doing so bad either. He's now in the top 50 as well. People are excited for the return of Cannonball. They thought that we had the first fight. So now they're like, you know, this is it. Cannonball's got to win it this time. 821 spectators. Spider is very dangerous in the ring. 60 wins by KO. He is unstoppable. Oh, it's going to make it even sweeter when Cannonball gets this knockout. We got the white and the golden trunks as well. We're dressed like the freaking white Power Ranger. The best Power Ranger, mind you. Don't worry, Spider. It's coming down. It's coming to end for you right now, buddy. Undefeated streak, no more. Let's go with Salmon up first. If it doesn't work out, we go straight for the head. But you know what? We're not defending. We're basically going glass cannon over here. So we'll do that. And then we're going to go for a little bit of body. But the option for a couple of hit hits as well. What is he going to do to us? I'm not really worried about that damage power. So I'm going to say we defend the body. And don't let him wear us out. As long as we continue striking, we should be fine. So here we go. Round number one, he's gonna taunt right off the bat. We got him with a bot, his stamina's gone after one hit. Oh my god, Cannonball, that's the way to do it. The scumbag, oh my god, the stamina's gone again. The body hits. He's, it's keeping him completely dazed out. Oh, we got the stun. Oh, you, you got, he got a return punch in there, that's fine though. He just went after my stamina, but look at this dude. First round, oh my god, first round knockout A Spider Valentino. Oh, he got back up. Oh, he got back up. He was saved by the bell, all right. Judge scored the game all a one. Come on. That was completely one-sided. What are you talking about? All right. Do we keep this or do we just go for the head hits now? I think, you know, we did what we want to do with the stamina here. Let's go for the head. Let's go for this knockout. Um, I think the boy is coming after my body, so I continue. I think we continue to defend that. There it is. Look at that. Cannon buzz where he's got his arms in the air like, yeah, we got this. This is coming out of his corner all dizzy. Like, this is a terrible corner. Like, they should throw in the towel for you. They should be like, there is no way Spider should get back out there. Look at him. He's dizzy coming out the ring. It's over. It's over. The boy was coming out dazed out of his mind still. Cannonball almost good. What do you mean almost good? That was like completely manhandled. Completely manhandled is what that boy was. Spider Valentino sent to the hospital after losing the fight. We knocked this dude into like next week, literally. He's no longer himself. Whoo, we got a pink alpha. We got to rock that pink alpha. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, that's not man enough, Alpha. <laughs> pink is the manliest outfit, dude. You go out there, you box in pink, and let me tell you, people are going to be scared of you. You don't mess with this dude in pink. All right, Cannonball, my boy. What do we hook you up with now, huh? We could completely max out our power damage. We could go back to Ravager. We already have level 1. We could go 2. All attacks have a 5% chance to stun. Or we could go for a extra 5 HP. Extra plus 2 stamina. Um, You know what? I say, let's completely max out your damage. Damn right. Oh, 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 oh. And, and I, I said I would do it. Customize locker. Get, get at him. Get at him, Cannonball. That's what's up. And you know what? You got a fight coming up, or are you good now? You got a fight, you can fight today. We will fight you today. Let's give you a different outfit, though. Let's hook you up with, let's see. The green is kind of like, you know, the punch club, uh, punch out one. Little Mac. Let's go with, um, oh, that perp. Earthquake, the purple assassin. That's perfect right there. All right. Can you train? You can, but I mean, you don't really have to. I'm going to say you go home. You deserve it after that fight. And my boy, let's go in here for a fight. Now, this is not going to be like a top... Oh, by the way, we're a contender now, boys. Winning, beating Spider made us a contender for the title. 
Our manager task is to become a top contender. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, this is not going to be a contender fight. Those are going to be just regular minor gym stuff. But that's fine. I'm still trying to, like, figure out how to, like, you know, fight with Swarver. Thus far, I think it has definitely helped going for body. Just to wear people out. Because I got the attack speed for that at 21. But considering this guy is, like, you know, just a, a gym scrub. Knock him out. Knock him out, boy! Come out there swinging like crazy and just knock him out. A couple of head hits, there's the first one. Get a second one in there. Second one. There it is. I like, I'm, I'm really liking the Swarmer just because of the attack speed. Like with Cannonball, it's cool and everything. You know, you got that knockout power, but a little bit too, like, slow. This guy is just kind of like, taunt. Jab. Taunt. Jab. Look at this. Knockout. No counting anything at all. This guy's just gone. Dead to the world. Good, but not perfect. I think that was a perfect fight. I don't know what you're rating. I'm not even sure what this dude is rating. He's trying to undervalue my wins here. Okay, and you yourself got yourself a bit of a level for yourself and then one for me. Now check this out. I have maxed out training boost, so that's good. Since I'm going to start hiring new um, fighters now, let's um, go ahead and upgrade box of recruits, upgrade scouting knowledge so that we have dudes with higher potentials come in. So let's just unlock that one now. Perfect. And speaking of which, that should be coming up tomorrow. All right. Now let's give you the extra point over here. What do we go with? Uppercut, 150 damage and stun, or, I mean, we need that to unlock this. However, we could just go for more increased speed, but you know what? I think your speed's doing just fine for now. I kind of want to see what this is all about, so I will unlock Uppercut. Oh, they didn't unlock it yet. Hmm. I wanted to give you your own fan club as well. So, that for your fights, we get more money that way. More hype. So... It's gonna cost me 2,000, we're at 13, that's fine. I'm also hoping for like an event that comes up that sells me some really good equipment for cheap. So we have Earthquake Crabs. I'm not sure that's the best name for your club. Earthquake Crabs, it just sounds like a very terrible disease downstairs. But hey, that's fine if that's what you want to call it. Two members, I could also donate. How much can I donate? A thousand? That's fine, there it is. I, I spent 3,000 for you, Earthquake, so you better not ever decide to jump to another gym afterwards. So... Are we good here? I think we're fine. Hey, who turned off my radio? Let's go to track number three now. See what that one's all about. Oh, we got that Michael Jackson type of beat there happening. That's kind of good. All right, so what's coming up with the fights? Opportunity for Earthquake, boys. I am the manager for Alfonso Soldier McMahon. That's the guy that we have beat with Cannonball before. Isn't he like a swarmer as well? I forgot what he was. Maybe he was a brawler. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Alfonso Soldier McMahon. He's level 7. I think um, Earthquake is 5, maybe? I think we could definitely have a shot here. Let's take it. And even if we lose, we get some money anyway, so it's fine. We're 5 e 7 That's definitely within our grasp. Let's go over to Boxing Manager. Announce the fight. We have no sponsor with Earthquake right now, so hopefully the sponsor that's coming up tomorrow will be for Earthquake. We can hype the fight that way. Let's also use our Fight Club, or at least our... Uh, fan club, and we'll wait. If we get a sponsor for him, we, we might go for that one too. Um, how many days? Five days probably? Yeah, five days. There it is. New sponsorship available. Let it be for my boy. It is for him. Pizzeria. Huh? That's fine. That's fine. So we got that sponsorship. Let's go back over to Boxing Manager, and there it is. We're up to a 66. Do we drop 2,500 for a 20 to 30? Yes. I know I'm going pretty balls to the wall here, but I'm hoping that this will bring in the tickets and we get some more money that way. It's an investment, really. We're at 923 sold. 1,000. We have, like, even a bigger draw for this fight than we had for Cannonball Spider 2. Earthquake is not ready for this fight. Soldier should win with no trouble. Says Eden Ryan from the Daily Sports News. All right, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. You don't doubt Earthquake, the Purple Assassin, a.k.a. The head honcho of the Earthquake Crabs. Hey, you know what? They're the ones who came up with that name, not me. Alright, so let's see here. We have more HP than he does. We have more stamina, a lot more speed, damage power, roughly equal. I'm thinking we could wear this boy out really quickly, and then after that body is gone, we just destroy his head. Now, he's a brawler, so he definitely is going to have a lot of HP, but that's fine. Um, do we want to get some defenses ourselves? Not really. No. I think I'm gonna go with this way right here. Alrighty. 
Now, it's a matter of not letting him power himself up and hit us with that ultimate attack, though. Alright, start off with a body hit himself. Oh, he's going after my body, too. Mm-hmm. Did we set up defenses for that? That I did. But then again, we did, but I set up for all attack over defending, so yeah, even though we could defend, don't taunt right now. This is not the time to taunt. Although it did give you your stamina back, so that's kind of alright, I guess. But let's start getting some strikes in there. Good. Good. Don't take any more damage. Don't take any more damage. It's around. Come on. We'll recover a bit here. Okay. Stamina's gone. He's gonna recover. That power is going up. He's got the fight in his hand here at the moment. I'm not worried. Like, you know, he's gonna have more points, but it's fine. I'm still not worried about attack power. Um. Now, here's the thing. Do we start going straight up for knocking him out? I think we do. I think we do. We also need to unlock the other defensive um, slider for this boy right here. There it is. We got that head hit. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Start working that body. Stunned him again. He's gassed. You're gassed. He's no longer gassed, but that's fine. Keep working it. Keep working it. That power is coming up now. Might be troubling, but you countered there a little bit too. 82 to 54. Okay, so far I would say this has been our round in terms of like, you know, just damage. Head hit 7. His damage power is completely gone though. He is barely scratching us at the moment. So now we're looking really good. Now, come on. Judges, you cannot score this guy higher than us when he's over here ba barely scratching us at this point. One damage, he's basically just swinging at the air. He's grazing us with his fist. Or with his glove anyway. Alright, so do we continue going? Yeah, I think we do. I, I'm, I'm liking what we're doing here right now. The problem is our damage is also dropping. So we could get stuck in a situation where... It's going to come down to points. I'm not sure we can knock this boy out now. Um, But let's go with a focus to the head, but still a couple of body shots maybe there for the stamina. Let's see how this plays out. Like, we just don't have the knockout power yet for some of these fights. But pff, neither does him hitting us for two. All right, that ultimate's coming back up. Power punch. All right, stamina's gone. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get that stamina back up. So far this round, I think we have... Oh, come on. Since we have outlanded him when it comes to hits. Come on. Hit, hit five. There you go. Another fiver. Oh, okay. Another stun right there. Head, hit four. We got two rounds to take away. 16 HP, maybe. Probably a bit more once he recovers. The judges are still scoring him ahead of us just because of those freaking little grazing hits. It's really annoying me. I'm thinking, forget all this. He's got to go down now. Our damage is up to a, it's down to a four now. He's sort of 16. He's gonna probably get a bit more HP back right now between rounds. We just gotta keep. We gotta knock him out at this point. Like I feel that if we continue at this at this pace, he's gonna win us just by split decision because the judges are apparently counting those little small little gray shots. I mean, look at the HP. We've essentially have murdered this bad boy. But let's just try to go for the knock. He's back up to 24. We're back up to five. He's almost out of stamina too. He's taunting. He gassed out. He's down to an 11. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. You got your stamina back? Let's go for the knockout. Let's go for the knockout. Okay, there it is. Oh, I think we I think we got this. I can, oh, knockout. He's out complete. He's got no stamina to get back up. My boy, Earthquake. The crowd goes wild. That was a good fight. You know, it wasn't like a quick knockout, you know, where people were like, oh my god, he killed him. But at least we gave him a good barn burner. Damn right. Let me get them ticket sales. Spider Alfonso sent to hospital after losing... Or oh, soldier, sorry. Spider was the other boy. Apparently, we're sending everybody to the hospital after we're done with them. Good to level 6. Ah, level 6. Perfect. Good job. Oh, we got a nice little outfit over here, too. Continue, boys. All right. What you got for me now? Let's see here. Mm, we're trying to get that unlocked, so I'm going to say a bit more speed. There it is. Windwalker. All attacks have a 5% chance to trigger another fast attack right afterwards. Huh? All right. Okay, so my scout has completed his report. Let's see who is available to the market now. Scouting. Hopefully we get somebody with like a three-star potential. The highest we've had this far is going to be two, which was Earthquake. We have a two-star in Samson, Steel Rage, Davenport. He is going to be a counterpuncher. Six and four record, 27 years old. We have Chain, Mayum Kent. He's lost everything. Older, two-star, he's a brawler. And another counterpuncher in David Panther Or 32, 5, and 8. Two-star potential. I think I'm going to go with the boy over here with the, um, with the Mohawk. 
27 might be our youngest fighter thus far. He's got at least a winning record, two-star potential. Let's do it. Um, he's looking for 1,200 after each fight. Wow. This guy thinks he's uh, a big shot, huh? All right. Weekly paint at 151. All right. We'll bring him in. We'll bring him in. Uh, you go back out and... Let me get... Yeah, get another boxer in there. Go search again. All righty, boy. Let's see what you got over here. You got a lot of decay on you to begin with. Um, we gotta just train everything up, and I think the first thing we always have to start off with is gonna be stamina for sure, so... Off to the treadmill you go, get that stamina up, and then let's see what's happening over here. Cannonball's ready for a regular fight. We shall indeed do it. Dean Cochran is apparently related to Johnny Cochran too. Attack, head, defend... What is it gonna do to me? <laughs> Nothing. Defend the body. Get in there and get that knockout cannonball, one hit! I'm looking for one hit, Cannonball. Oh! He did it in one hit. He's a scrub, so you know it's fine. I'm not gonna brag about it. He, he actually got it in one hit. Just one hit is all it took. Ha <laughs> ha! Good job, Cannonball. Mediocre fight? You Are you kidding me? Do you tell me that you don't watch a, a boxing fight and you're hyped for this? And then one dude just comes out and just slugs this dude once and he goes down. You're not going to get off of your feet and scream your head off? You're going to call it a mediocre fight? Nah, get out of here. I know some people are like, oh, I want to see a long fight. Well, sure. I don't mind seeing a long fight if the boys are going at it, like slugging it out and it's like a, a test of will. But sometimes you get a lot of fights where it's just kind of like them, you know, just dancing around, hugging the ropes, hugging each other, pushing each other off, random little swings. No, no. If I'm going to get a long fight like that, I would rather have them come out immediately when the bell rings and somebody just clocks somebody so hard that they're gone. You know, that's a good fight for me. I'm happy with that because you've seen something special. All right. So mediocre fight my ass. I'm a little bit salty about it. You can probably imagine mediocre fight. Get out of here. I am the manager for Henry. <gasps> that's a champion. We're about to become a top contender, boys. I am the manager for Henry Thunderbolt Maynard. We wish for your boxer to fight the champion. Let's talk. Oh ho ho ho! Cannonball has reached the promised land. Henry Thunderbolt Maynard, champion. Level 10. 31 and 0 record. Can we win this? I think we can. But more importantly, I'm looking for this money. The money here could be amazing for us. I wonder if Cannonball has prepared enough. Thunderbolt should be a hard opponent. Devon Day. Well, you know what? My boy's been doing fairly good himself. Alright, we good here? My manager task, win the minor champion title. You're damn right, that's my goal. Now, I wonder what happens if I'm the champion with Cannonball, and then we got our boy Earthquake coming up behind them. Do we have to pit them against each other? Or can I then jump over to the next one afterwards? That's kind of intriguing, huh? I know, it very much is. Let's also start promoting this fight if we can, too. Um, ba 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 boxing manager. Boom! Oh, we got no sponsor for my boy right now. That's a shame. Well, we have a hype boost from the fan club, though. We're over 100 already. Ooh, baby! Let's drop some 2,500 over here for even a higher one. There it is. Okay. You're looking amazing in pink, let me tell you. You're gonna take that championship in pink. I'm seeing if we can hopefully get to this championship fight today. Hopefully we can. And I hope you guys are enjoying the series, too. If you are, let me know in the comments, and I'll continue doing more. Right now, I'm having a blast with this. Cannonball has asked you to read the local news about the upcoming fight. Thunderbolt calls Cannonball weak and slow. He believes he will crush his opponent with an early KO. Well, here's the problem. I, we might be slow for a fact, but we're not weak. We're going to kill you. Let it feed your anger. Stop reading the news, ignore it. No, let it feed your anger, boy. That's motivation for you. Hit the heavy bag. Knock him out yourself. That's what I want to see happen in the first round. A first round knockout is what I want happening from you. Let's see here. Oh, come on. Oh, it did go up, though. He was at 20, 24. Oh, his speed did go up a bit well, one more time. He was at 20, 24, and 10, right? So his speed went up by 6, so we could probably train at the speed bag and still get a couple more points. So you know what? Uh, go off to... Oh, it hasn't been fixed. Um, okay. Fix that. Fix that. Fix that. Boxing ring. Fix that. Okay. Might as well fix everything. There it is. Uh, what's your problem, Tyron? Home you go. You are speed bag now. And you, the K's down to zero. Perfect. Off you go. Boost that up. And any opportunities for somebody else? Not particularly, no. Boost. 
You're at 26, right? Let's see if we can get you up to like a 30 before you cap off. That'd be very nice. For now, we sent home. And let's skip out of here for now. 16,000. We've sold 393 tickets. Still a couple more days. Kind of want to see that. Oh, no, no. There you go. 793 now. Last one, I think we got 900. So we're easily on par to break this. I mean, we should. It's, it's a championship fight, for God's sake. Just continue working that a while so you don't get decay. You go back to the speed back and you back to that stamina boy. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and just train the rest of the couple of days off. We'll come back next episode and we will engage in the championship fight for Cannonball. And let's see if we finally get our first title win for the gym. And then we'll find out what happens when one of my boys has the same title that all these guys are gutting for themselves. We'll see how that plays out. Hope you guys are enjoying us. Check out for the next episode. If you are enjoying it, let me know in the comments and let me know a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.